identity and equation so in this lecture we are going to learn the difference between identity and an equation so here we have the definitions for identity and an equation so an equation that is true for any value of variable is called as identity okay whereas an equation is only true for only few values of the variable okay so this is the major difference then now we will understand with the examples so the first thing identity identity is an equation which is true for any real value of the variable for example if i consider x square minus 1 equals to x plus 1 into x minus 1 okay x square minus 1 equals to x plus 1 into x minus 1 now consider any value of okay any value of variable here x any value of x so whatever the x x belongs to any real number this statement is true for example if x is equals to 2 i am considering if x is equals to 2 whether what is the lhs will become 2 square minus 1 equals to 2 plus 1 into 2 minus 1 that means here 4 minus 1 equals to 3 into 1 that means 3 equals to 3 so now this equation is true for x is equals to 2 similarly consider x is equals to 3 then what it is 3 square 9 minus 1 equals to 3 plus 1 4 into 3 minus 1 2 that means 8 equals to 8 so you can consider any value of x okay if we consider any real value of x the given equation lhs is equals to rhs is true for any real value of x then that equation is called as identity okay that equation is called as identity for example if i consider x plus 6 whole square equals to x square plus 12 x plus 36 okay now which is a quadratic equation but this equation is said to be a identity if we consider so what it is x is equals to 1 you can consider then what will get the lhs 1 plus 7 whole square equals to 1 plus 12 into 1 plus next we have 36 then which is 1 plus 7 means 1 plus 6 sorry 1 plus 6 whole square means 7 square 49 equals to 49 that means lhs equals to rhs okay and you can consider x is equals to minus 1 what we obtain over here minus 1 plus 6 whole square equals to 1 plus 12 into minus 1 minus 1 whole square means 1 plus 36 then over here 25 we obtain over here and here is also we'll get the rhs is also 25 equals to 25 now this is an equation this equation is true for any real value of x so here the x belongs to r for any real value of x if an equation consisting lhs and rhs are equal then the equation is said to be identity and we can say that so the identity is having more number of solutions more number of solutions okay x belongs to real value and any values real values from minus infinity to plus infinity the identity will have infinite number of solutions okay the identity will have infinite number of solutions okay this is the about identity then what is an equation yes what is an equation let consider a quadratic equation now we are discussing about the quadratic equation now i am considering a quadratic equation now here we are discussing about equation okay an equation so just we have discussed that an equation is true now i am considering ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero which is an equation 
and equation have uh, that means this is true only for few real values okay this is true only for few real values and this equation is having x having two solution that means it is having for the x we have the two roots that means two solutions are possible for this quadratic equation two solutions are possible for this quadratic equation for example x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 so here the values of x are the solutions are x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 3 so an equation is true for only few values of x is called as an equation and an equation that is true for any values of x any real value of x or any real value of a variable is called as an identity okay for example take the trigonometric identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1 this we call it as a trigonometric identity identity means for any value of theta you can take any value of theta that is always equals to 1 either it is sin square pi by 2 plus cos square pi by 2 and theta may be any value 1 either it is sin square pi by 3 plus cos square pi by 3 so theta may be any value the resultant is 1 that's why we are calling the identity theta have many solutions the theta have infinite solutions whereas the identity have infinite solutions okay whereas an equation will have a limited solutions if it is a quadratic equation the quadratic equation will have only two solutions okay now how this quadratic equation will become an identity how this quadratic equation will become an identity we are considering ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero then how this will be called as an identity how this is called as an identity now if the condition a equals to b equals to c equals to zero if a equals to b equals to c is equal to 0 then what the value will become this is irrespective of x okay irrespective of x whatever x belongs to any real value that means x have infinite values you can substitute over here whatever the value of x for a equals to 0 b is equals to 0 c is equals to 0 this equation will become as equals to 0 so then for a equals to b equals to c equals to 0 the quadratic equation will become an identity the quadratic equation will become an identity okay so now there is the difference between the identity and the an equation generally we are discussing about the quadratic equation okay now we can understand with few examples now the question is find the values of k for which the equation k square minus 3k plus 2 times of x square minus k square minus 2k plus 1 times of x plus k minus k square equals to 0 has more than 2 roots. Okay, more than 2 roots. We know that the given is a quadratic equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 okay which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 the quadratic equation will have generally it have two solutions that means the two roots okay it will have two roots but here the question is asking that which have more than two roots so when this will have more than two roots if the equation become an identity then it will have more than two roots so that means here the equation has to be considered as identity if the given quadratic equation is an identity then the equation will have more than two roots okay more than two roots will have more than two roots okay so now when a quadratic equation is said to be an identity the condition is the coefficient of x square equals to 0, coefficient of x is equals to 0 and the constant term equals to 0. So that means if a equals to b equals to c is equals to 0, 
then the x will have number of solutions okay x will have x belongs to for any, any real value the given quadratic equation will become an identity now here what it is the x square coefficient means here the x square coefficient is considered as what he has given like moving over here the x square coefficient is k square k square minus 3k plus 2 equals to 0 and b b is nothing but k square minus 2k plus 1 equals to 0 and c k minus k square equals to 0 and if we find out this k square minus 2k minus k plus 2 equals to 0 for the first one and if we simplify we can write this is as k into k minus uh, 2 so k minus 1 into k minus 2 equals to 0 that means here we obtain k is equals to 1 or k is equals to 2 okay k is equals to 1 comma 2 and this can be written as k minus 1 whole square equals to 0 so that means here we obtain the values as k is equals to 1 comma 1 and here we can take k as a common then we can write it as 1 minus k equals to 0 here we can write k is equals to 0 comma 1 okay the question is asking us find the values of k for which okay so that means here we are having different values of k but we need to take the common value what is the common value 1 is common in all these coefficients okay coefficient of x square equals to 0 coefficient of x is equals to 0 the coefficient of x power 0 that means constant term equals to 0 then in each and every term we are getting the k value as 1 the common k value is 1 then for k is equals to 1 this equation will have this quadratic equation will have more than two roots for any real value of x if we substitute k is equals to 1 whatever the value of x x may have the infinite values x belongs to from minus infinity to minus plus infinity or any real value we will get for k is equals to 1 this equation will get as more than two roots i think you understand the difference between the equation a quadratic equation and an identity the next question is show that x minus a into x minus b by c minus a into c minus b plus x minus b into x minus c by a minus b into a minus c plus x minus c into x minus a by b minus c into b minus a equals to 1 is an identity okay right he is asking us to show this as an identity so what is the condition for identity okay the identity means x will have infinite solutions infinite values or more than the given polynomial okay so that means here the given that x minus a into x minus b can be written as x square minus of a plus b into x plus a b okay so that means the given is okay here also we will obtain it is in the second term x square minus of b plus c into x plus b c in the third term the numerator is x square minus of c plus a into x plus a c so that means here the given is okay by adding all this so whatever it is simply we can say that the given equation is a quadratic equation the given equation is a quadratic equation so that means the given equation must have only two roots okay the given equation must have only two roots if this equation the x is having more than okay the x will have only two roots over here why because it is a quadratic equation so if x is having more than two roots then we can say that the given equation is an identity okay given equation is an identity if i substitute x is equals to a then what the equation will become if I x is equals to a a minus a so the first term is simply 0 plus and x is equals to a what we obtain a minus b into a minus c by a minus b into a minus c plus third term is x is equals to a x minus a we have over here then 
a minus a equals to 0. So that means this one is cancelled out. The resultant equals to 0 plus 1 plus 0 which is equals to 1. So that means the LHS is equals to if x is equals to a the resultant equals to 1 we are obtaining that means x is equals to a is satisfying the value of x is equals to a satisfying the given equation. Now similarly substitute x is equals to b. If x is equals to b the first term will be 0 plus second term will be 0 plus third term what it is b minus c into b minus a by b minus c into b minus a which is equals to 0 plus 0 plus 1 again the x is equals to b is also satisfying the the two values are satisfying the given equation then x is equals to c what will obtain if x is equals to c c minus a into c minus b by c minus a into c minus b plus so x is equals to c then c minus c 0 plus x is equals to 0 1 plus 0 plus 0 which is equals to 1 again it is satisfying that means generally it is a quadratic equation it has only two roots but here we are getting x is equals to a comma b comma c the three values are satisfying the given quadratic equation so we can say that which is having more than two roots the quadratic equation has two roots but is having the more than two roots then the given equation is an identity okay given equation is an identity i think you understand the difference between the identity and a and an equation in the next lecture we come with the another concept